Welcome back to the channel. I'm very excited today to share uh, a recent accomplishment. I was able to three star the tier 10 catalyst challenge the blaster that's the top level of the blaster challenge which actually means i can score a bit more orange materials from now until the end of time because i don't think we're going to see things move past gear 14 requirements for any time soon although i only had one character at gear tier 14 um, to be able to accomplish this and it was not black bolt don't have him on the team and i still beat it anyway um, with a very welcome tip from Big Roy Awesome. He brought something up in a stream yesterday. I tried it today and I'm happy to record it and share. Um, I'm sure he's he would love to record it and share sometime soon too, but you know, I don't think he minds if, if I record it for him. So the team that I used was the one at the top line, Falcon, Ultron, War Machine, Korath, who turns out to be the most important member of the team to be able to really succeed and to get past the first wave uh, in style <laughs> and Iron Man I didn't know I had trouble with my fifth uh, I tried several things I just ended up working with Iron Man I think it was probably just RNG but uh, very I mean the gear levels are not insane here I've got one at 13 because I tried Falcon I've been using him with the tech wing team for Ultima 7 Ultron, I have worked on him. He is at gear tier 14. Uh, but all the rest, all of these characters are available without having to pay through the Asgardian or Inhuman paywall. So that's pretty impressive. So let's just talk about the structure of who they are. So they're all seven stars. So I have been farming them for a long time and I have them all. Um, I have done two uh, T4s. I don't know how important they really contribute to this. Some of it was luck on whenever I hit the red wing to get turn meter and you'll see that when we play the video in just a little bit a strafing run a little more damage can't hurt i kind of doubt that one was critical and when it comes to ultron yeah he's he's a beast and i use him all the time in arena so he's i don't know what this would be like without a monster ultron so i think that's pretty critical to have a monster ultron but at least it doesn't require black bolt which is what i thought up until about 24 hours ago <laughs> um the next one i chose just because the, the suggestion uh, and, and and with significant you know damage output was uh, war machine i have five red stars on him so i'm kind of lucky there let me dodge out of the way five red stars here see um but his gear's only level 12 he's only level 67 i did do his tier 4 for war but i don't think that it makes a big difference you know during during non-war scenario so actually applying the taunt kind of a problem i mean i had to hit him you'll see i hit him on the first hit thanos on the first round to make sure i don't get taunt on the other guys because i still want to take thanos out this always apply taunt is not always to your benefit um, then i use korath which is the critical one here i literally just finished leveling him to uh gear tier 12 over the last weekend again i'll dodge out of the way he's got four red stars um level 67 i've just been messing with them for a really long time for both uh, the kree nodes of the gamma raids which are currently ongoing and uh i've enjoyed pairing him up with ultimus and cyborg to be one of the asgardian counters for kind of weaker teams i now really am excited about using symbiotes against asgardians but that's a future topic um the final member i tried a few things i tried my six red star pyro and it just didn't really work or maybe it was just the rng but i ended up throwing iron man on here he has no tier force gear 12 level 67 and you know he did get a little bit of upgrade uh with the plus five percent damage for power armor ally that happened recently i don't know if that had a big difference but i didn't have a huge margin of victory either so it couldn't have hurt okay so please pardon my dubbing i'm still learning this so first of all the loading screens black bolt which is the whole point of why i uh recording this he is uh i thought he was required for the tier for this tier of the blaster challenge and he doesn't so very excited about that <laughs> so uh getting started here um i do like to black out the bottom bar real quick so that we can my alliance mates can remain anonymous so i'm gonna pause here so the first move and it's the most critical move and this is exactly what big roy awesome shared with me is to hit thanos with ronin's alt to slow him down 
that'll allow you to do some things to the rest of the characters before Thanos gets his taunt up. So, uh, moving forward from there, allow this to move. Of course, you know, uh, I am lucky that they continue to, Loki continues to hit the middle character and at this point use his mind control on Ultron. Um, he's my gear 14 character so he can handle the hits as well as his minions being able to heal him and getting defense up very soon. So uh, from that point forward I do did learn that if I was going to hit with War Machine next I need to use his basic and not go after the three mystics because if you hit the mystics and you apply a taunt over there well that kind of stops you from being able to use it you have Ultron's ult to deal with Thanos. So, uh, lesson learned and, and sharing that here. So, from this point forward, you notice basics. I'm saving my uh, AoEs for later, but I do intend to take Thanos down basically right now. Um, there is a bit of RNG luck. So, here we go. The monster hit. Thanos is down. That's a critical success criteria to be able to do this, is to get Thanos down before the second wave drops, and they're going to drop pretty soon. So now I'm good. I tried the ability block. Uh, Doctor Strange here it didn't work. <laughs> so the next wave popped in. All right. So next wave popped in. There is some timing issues. I can't. I can't. There is RNG involved with this. I was able to two star and one star it with this team a couple times this morning before I was able to get the final three star. So it'll work, but to get to the three star, there is some RNG involved because you never know exactly when they're gonna drop in. Um, and when they do, it's, it's good to be able to immediately hit them hard. So I'm lucky here, this is the super luck, right? Like there's luck. And then there is massive luck. So they look Loki throwing out all these extra minions and buffs right before my Falcon's ready to go with his special here to gain turn meter is really the change. So there's you have to watch for this RNG, but when it happens, it's pretty beautiful. So now I'll, I'll throw that out there. It clears all of those buffs. You know, he's immediately ready to go with his alt, and this second wave is done. So uh, the final and third wave has a couple of nuances, but I mean, this is just cleanup at this point. I just, you know, basic, basic, let it go. Um, now, okay, the final wave comes in. Um, I'm always worried about Minerva when this one comes in because who knows what she's gonna pull. Because the first person I killed was Thanos. So if she brings him back, then that really wrecks this. So I immediately uh, intend to go after her. Um, I did want to always pull more Ultron bots. This battle does not take very long. Especially when I was running at 3x speed here. But uh, yeah, um, yeah, she got her taunt up, which I would have really preferred that War Machine didn't do. So I tried to slow folks down. He's always got his basic left with Korath. Now I just pick who I want to pick on. And I went with the basic, which probably would have been a little smarter to, uh, to take an out uh, War Machine at that point. Because you'll see he uh, kind of wrecks me a second. Yeah. So I, I, at this point, I have a shred of health left. <laughs> I'm not saying this is going to get you to win with style, but it can work with the RNG with a little more gear, a little more levels, maybe even faster. But yeah, Korath at this point is on life support. He's got a thin sliver of life left. Um, I allow Ultron to clean the rest of that up, at least offense down. Iron Man at this point, I'm pretty certain I have things in hand, but you know, one wrong move with Korath with Tonta. <laughs> I would be done. So I'm trying to be very careful, and I'm really hoping that Scarlet Witch does not hit my Korath. So uh, I do everything I can, slow her down, speed myself up, and clear it. And this is how we can do it with a free-to-play team. I mean, they're available free-to-play. Got those three stars. Go fight, win. Have a great day.